Today I'm going to be reviewing TAC amplifier, so let's get into the video. Okay everyone, so here is the TACT amplifier product. It says that we should be able to hear crisp and clear sounds. It's compact. Um, I just wanted to show all of the sides of the box so that you know exactly what you're getting. So here is the product and some instructions. These instructions just illustrate how to put the battery in and how to use the component to the best of its ability. So there's volume and how to put it in your ear. Supposedly it can work in both ears. Then it shows how each part that you're given works, all the cleaning tools, how to troubleshoot if you have any issues so here's the product you can see the cleaning tools the actual component and a variety of different earpieces this is kind of neat I thought that this was a unique part of this product it comes with its own little carrying case which is pretty great because then you can just throw it in your bag and it's white so you can easily find it. Next we have a variety of cleaning tools for the earpiece and then the earpiece itself. It's fairly small and I can already tell that that earpiece will be too big for my ear. I have very small ears and then the volume knob turns pretty easily. Then these are the variety of different earpieces. There are large and very small so I think that they give you a great variety of sizes. I went ahead and put the right size on for me and then I just wanted to test out. I'm not sure what that really does, but I'm sure there's just different compartments now that I'm looking at it. And I just was kind of playing with it just to kind of see. But you can keep everything in this nice little carrying case, which is awesome. Next piece, we have this battery. It's great that it comes with a battery. Sometimes products don't come with batteries. It's very small. Once I got the battery in and kind of messed with it, I was ready to test out the device. So let's see how it works. We're good to go. Okay, so I put the product in its little case, which I think was the best thing they could have done for this product. Now, I don't have very impaired hearing, but I do have a good ear and a bad ear. I'm actually getting my hearing checked out this summer. I was expecting it to do like what it does in the movies, make that like feedback sound, but it didn't. It just was very tough for me to get in my ear right away. Um, I had to replace the, the piece a few times to get the right one it's interesting because the smaller one when I used it made it fall out of my ear quite a bit and then the bigger ones just didn't fit in my ear so I don't know if I have small ears or what but this device did not stay in my ear and it actually it's suggested use is walking running so that you can hear your surroundings better and there's no way I could move with this device in my ear it took me a very long time to kind of figure out how to get it comfortably in my ear. It's also not that comfortable, but maybe that's just, you know, an, one of the things you have to deal with with using an earpiece. But as you can see, it did take me a long time to finally get it set in my ear. And I got very frustrated. <laughs> I then tested it by listening to some music. And I also wanted to test the depth of the device, how far it goes, and there was a dog barking across the street. Honestly, this device is extremely muffled and didn't really work. I was singing and talking out loud to hear my voice, and it's very muffled, and it almost sounds like I am holding my hand over my ear. For me, it didn't work at all and wasn't worth testing out further. I did want to see why you would need the cleaning thing. I didn't have any earwax or anything, but 
I guess it could get out anything. I tried it in the other ear. It really did not work. It honestly sounds like my hand is over my ear. So I'm gonna rate this a one star. I could rate it no stars, but the case was kind of cool. So if they improved their product, I guess that would be neat. Otherwise, I would not advise getting this product.